Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing 40, 50, 60 percent? I had one, of, one person I was coaching last week that we went through this, and they were doing really well, actually, really, really well. They were doing twice as much closed business this year as they did last year. They were on track for Centurion. It, it's been just off the charts wonderful. This person just really was doing a terrific, terrific job. And they were doing 15% of this list. 15%. So I said, what if we really ramp it up? What if we really crank it up? What if we really go this next quarter all the way up to 50%? What if we got it up to 50% for the next quarter instead of 15%? How much could you make? What could it be? Endless. Unbelievable. Why am I not doing it? Why am I not doing it? I wrote down here, the extra mile is never crowded. Would you say? that the average agent tends to do this, yes or no? no. The average agent do this, yes or no? no? No, absolutely not. So either you want to continue being the average agent, or you want to move it up to being a superstar agent, an agent that is recognized year in and year out, that you could look at and say the names that we know the Marty Rodriguez's of the world, the Neil Weichel's of the world, the Karen Bernardi's of the world. You know, these are people that are making Deb Sizek's of the world. Millions of dollars every single year selling houses. You can be one of those people. There's nothing special about special people. What they do is they put one foot in front of the other on a regular basis, working a plan very similar to this. The extra mile is never crowded. To be a great salesperson, we have set ourselves apart from our competitors. We need to go the extra mile. That's what I said earlier today. That's how we started this. We need to go the extra mile. 